You're watching Channel 2, Houston's home for news. A Houston man known as an icon in the LGBTQ community is talking about his legacy as he deals with failing health. Ray Hill is now in hospice care. And Ray, if you're watching right now, please know that we're thinking about you and we wish you the very best. He spoke with Channel 2's Robert Arnold about his activism and about how he helped make history here in Houston. Ray Hill was never one to shy away from a fight. He would spar with critics and allies alike when he felt an injustice needed writing. A staunch defender of gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender rights and a prison reform activist, Hill says his life has been guided by one simple principle. Get up every morning and and do what's right. While Ray Hill's voice may be a little softer, the passion in his words remains fierce. Hill, one of the founders of what was then called the Houston Gay Political Caucus, fought for equality and free speech. In recent years, Hill fought to win parole for convicted killer John Bice, a reversal from the early 90s when Hill pushed for the maximum punishment. Bice was one of several who pleaded guilty to killing Paul Broussard outside of Montrose nightclub. It was called a gay bashing incident, and Bice got the harshest sentence because he delivered the fatal stab wound. I got it wrong. Pure and simple. Years later, Hill says he came to believe Broussard's murder had nothing to do with his sexual orientation and that Bice, who was a teen, was genuinely remorseful. You can make mistakes, but you've got to clean up after yourself. Former Mayor Anise Parker says Hill's fight for equality has made him an icon in the LBGTQ community. Ray's always had a really clear sense of right and wrong. Parker adds that sense of right and wrong made Hill unafraid to remain true to his convictions, even when it clashed with colleagues. For a long time, he gave out a business card that said, pesky, contemptuous troublemaker and afflicting the comfortable and comforting the afflicted. Hill also disproved the adage, you can't fight City Hall. Hill went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court to see an old city ordinance struck down. That ordinance made it illegal to even argue with a police officer while they were doing their job. And there are very few people who can say that they had uh, a case that went all the way to the Supreme Court and fundamentally changed how people interact with the police department. With his health failing, Hill is now in hospice care, but he says he takes comfort in knowing that he always stayed true to his convictions. I tried to always do what was right. Hill says he would like his funeral to be held on the steps of City Hall, where he fought so many battles over the decades. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.